Chapter 18 Quantum Weirdness Bizarre Properties of the Quantum World Imagine you are an astronaut assigned to travel to a newly discovered alien planet. You experience a vivid dream en route, where you see round balls of glowing light popping in and out of your vision, and you don't have a clue what this means. Finally, you reach your destination and cautiously venture out from your spaceship to examine the new world around you. You spend some time walking around, sensing something but not seeing anything. Suddenly, in a burst of light, a spherical object about the size of a beach ball appears before you. The translucent sphere appears to be rippling with energy. You freeze, wondering how this could be. You experienced a vision of similar round energy objects in your dream when your voyage began. Your vision of these spheres has been so consistent, you almost expected to see them materialize when you landed though it seemed ridiculous. Soon, in the distance, you see several other light flashes as more energy spheres appear across the landscape. They are anywhere from 30 feet to a football field's length away from you. You wonder if you're hallucinating. You close your eyes, but then a burst of light penetrates your eyelids. Your eyes fly open, and you see waves of light in front of you, but they immediately pop back into the form of the spherical energy objects. Several times, you repeat the act of closing your eyes and suddenly opening them again. Each time it's the same, a glimpse of light energy waves that collapse into material spherical forms. Figure 27, Wave-Particle Duality You now sense a weird pattern. When you're not looking, the natural state of this world seems to consist of light energy waves. But when your eyes open to observe your surroundings, the light waves collapse to a specific point and materialize as spherical objects that look like giant atoms. You take a step forward to reach out and touch the nearest sphere, as in greeting. The floating sphere immediately jumps back a few feet. What's more surprising is that every other sphere across the landscape jumps back at the exact same time. Now you're really curious. You take several steps to the right. The sphere in front of you moves to the right, tracking your motion, as do all the other spheres, in split-second synchronization. The pattern repeats itself like an immaculately choreographed dance. With each movement the closest sphere makes, the others mimic it. Then you decide to play a trick. You pull out a blanket from your backpack and hold it up like a drape, so you're visible to only the single sphere a few steps in front of you. You bob your head from side to side. Sure enough, the nearby sphere darts to and fro in short bursts from side to side. But wait, all the other spheres still move in unison. But there is no way they could have seen your head motions. It's as if the nearest sphere instantly relayed the bobbing head information to the others. You now draw some conclusions. First, this world seems to exist in two states, light energy and more solid particle-like forms, as evidenced by the floating spheres. When unobserved, the natural state of the world appears as light wave energy. But when you peek, the light collapses into the more particle-like spherical objects. Then the thought hits you, could it be that you, your mind, and your consciousness are causing this transition from energy to particle just by the act of your conscious observation? After all, you had been thinking of solid spherical objects from the beginning of the voyage, as if expecting to find them. Are these spheres materializing from the light energy according to your expected observations? What kind of objects behave like that? You begin to sort it out. This world you've discovered seems to exist in dual states, both as waves of light energy and as more solid, visible particle forms. 
The light energy field acts like an energy matrix from which the visible objects arise. The material spheres seem to be particle forms of light energy, another way of saying that matter is a form of light. Your consciousness as an observer seems to influence the transition from the light energy state to the more solid particle forms you're observing, as though the presence of your consciousness somehow draws the energy down to mold matter from it. If this is the case, then the light energy field must possess a form of conscious intelligence, since it is aware of your thoughts and responsive to your presence in specific ways. The way they react in sync, the spherical material objects must also be in instant communication with one another, despite distances, only conscious objects can communicate and impart directive information, so intelligence must permeate everything, you, the light energy, and the spherical particle objects. Now something else happens. One of the faraway spheres flickers out of sight, then, in the same instant, appears directly behind the sphere nearest to you without any intervening motion. It did not move across the air or ground. It just disappeared and reappeared from one remote position to a new, closer position. It went from point A to point C without ever passing through point B. This now tells you that time and space here operate like nothing in the world to which you are accustomed. All in all, it's a bizarre and counterintuitive experience that seems like a form of magic to your normal way of thinking. It's a little disorienting, and you can hardly wait to get back to the familiar operations of your own normal world. But here's the catch. You never really left Earth. Oh, you thought you were in outer space. Did I forget to tell you that you were a quantum astronaut exploring inner space? Sorry, my bad. But all that you experienced happened right here on Earth, in the quantum world that lies beneath our everyday reality. All the strange phenomena described, solid particles forming from unsolid light waves, particles in instant communication over vast distances, basic reality as an intelligent matrix of light waves smeared across space, the role of consciousness in solidifying observable matter out of light, are very real phenomena at the quantum level here on Earth. Here's one more thing I'll throw at you. The latest theories in physics based on observations of the deep space phenomena known as black holes, seem to indicate that the solid world we perceive may actually be a giant three-dimensional holographic projection, L.A. the holodeck from the Star Trek TV series. Can you say Bugs Bunny? It's certainly like going down a cosmic rabbit hole. We may project bugs onto our TV screens, but is something projecting us onto a universal screen? Movie within a movie, program within a program, dream within a dream. Reality is stranger than you can imagine, and nothing is as it seems. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of quantum physics, the fascinating world we will explore in this section of our book.